everybody. Welcome back to the garage. I'm just going to do something a little bit different today because it needs to get done. What you see behind me here is a 2004 Ford Ranger XLT FX4 Level 2. It's a really great truck. It's tough. Uh, it's a lot of fun to drive. But maybe as you heard at the beginning part of this video, it is very loud and needs a couple other things done. Um, I bought it. It was an old farm truck, so it was pretty rough. It still is a little rough around the edges. Um, it, it's not going to win any beauty awards, but for the most part, it's in great condition. And the engine, the transmission is in great condition, which is the most important part. So, in the past, I've added some new tires to it. I have rebuilt the rear shackles and body mounts or um, I'm not sure what they're called the uh, the mounts for the leaf springs because those were completely rotted out and today what I need to do is install a new muffler and I thought I'd bring you along Okay, so we've established that this truck is loud. I went ahead and, you know, I did the old, um, you know, shove a blower in your tailpipe and turn it on, and I got all the soapy water and I checked all the joints. Um, you know, I checked up by the headers and everything, and I couldn't figure out what was going on, but I did notice that when I was back here by the muffler, I felt a breeze. As it turned out, I just didn't look high enough. And it's hidden by the frame of the truck, but I, from what I've read since, that is a pretty common problem with a stock muffler on a Ranger. So that's what I'm going to try to repair today. And this is what I have to do it. I went ahead and bought an aftermarket stainless steel muffler it's called a quiet flow it's ss which i guess is for stainless steel since it's stainless and i don't have the means to weld stainless i bought some of these exhaust clamps and i did a little research ahead of time and i'm pretty sure that this piece i'm gonna have to sleeve this end with this piece, just like that. Uh, that's the tailpipe end. But for some reason, the exhaust port end, this is big enough to slip over the end of the exhaust pipe, or the, uh, whatever, the cat side. So I've got some of these clamps to um, hopefully tie everything together and um, make my job a little easier. I also took a shot in the dark and picked up one of these exhaust insulator hanger deals. Um, uh, the one that is supposed to be on the tailpipe of this truck is missing or destroyed. And I'm just currently using zip ties to hold that tailpipe in place. So hopefully this is the right size. If not, it was only like $3, so not that big of a deal. First step, cutting out the old muffler.
Not fun. So here it is in better light. This is the top side of the muffler. It's interesting that the top side corroded out faster than the bottom, but I guess if there's a bunch of hot gases, including vapor, and probably cling to the top and then evaporate and leave the system before it hits the bottom that's what you end up with so pretty much was running a set of straight pipes out of the back of this truck not exactly something that a 16 year old girl wants to have so next step is going to be chopping off the tailpipe trying to leave as much of this behind as I can figuring out what's going on with this little support here I'll probably have to just cut it off because the new muffler doesn't come with this. I'm assuming it's to help it from, protect it from bottoming out on something. I don't know. Because this part of the muffler, this part of the muffler goes right over the rear axle. I don't really think there's anything there. So anyway, I'm going to cut all this off and then test fit the new pieces that I have and see how well everything goes together. to do is probably not recommended but I'm gonna give it a shot basically I'm gonna cut a couple of reliefs on this pipe uh, because it almost fits into here but not quite and instead of cutting into this pipe and tapering it down I'd rather cut into this one and taper it out and then I'm still clamping everything together with an exhaust clamp so I'm gonna give that a shot Well, I'm trying to do this as scientifically as possible, uh, considering I don't have any idea what I'm doing. So I've got the uh, I've got the tailpipe in the vise here, and I made sure this horizontal section of the pipe was level. And I ran along, and I made sure this is somewhat level. It's not perfect, obviously, but um, it does have a slight slope to it. I'm hoping I'll be able to make that up on the inlet side of the muffler. This was difficult because the pipe instantly, when it exits the muffler, instantly goes into an elbow. So I had to put reliefs in the pipe and in the muffler itself in order to get that junction. I've got about three quarters of an inch overlap in here, which I'm hoping is enough. Um, got my clamp on here pretty tight. Uh, it's not going anywhere. As you can see and um, now I get to kind of wiggle it back into position I got to get the old um, hangers the old rubber hangers off of the old muffler I really probably should have replaced them I didn't uh, even realize that's how it was uh, attached up there I thought that these actually rested on some type of a you know some type of a, a bumper or something up there but but uh, those hangers are still good enough for now, and I can replace them as needed. So I'm going to thread this through the axle and then get it all situated and probably get this hung. I'm going to put that replacement hanger on here, get it hung, and then go from there. I do realize that having these holes here in the uh, exhaust 
is probably not ideal, especially for corrosion issues. Um, but as far as letting out your exhaust gases, it's under the bit of the truck. And it's not going, this is after the muffler, so I shouldn't get any ticking or anything from this. I just think that, if anything, it'll make these spots corrode quicker than anywhere else because hot gases will be exiting through these. I could probably seal them up with some JB weld or something like that, but um, I don't know. Let's call it an experiment and see what fails first, the uh, muffler or these holes. Unfortunately, I'm still stuck with zip ties. If you look, I'll try to get out of the glare of the light here. <clears throat> that is where this uh, that rubber hanger bushing thing is supposed to go, but. That sucker is riveted in place. Actually, I, I think it's bolted, but it's like an assembly. It's a steel assembly, so... I don't have the hardware to make that, uh, so I'm just going to zip tie it for now. Alrighty, nice tight seal. The uh, rubber hangers are in place. We clear the rear suspension. And all I gotta do is hang that all the way back there. At least with, for now with the zip tight. I can rebuild that bracket. I just gotta drill out the rivet and then replace it with a bolt. But that'll have to be for another day because I've gotta deliver this truck to my daughter before she gets off of work. So, I'm going to get everything buttoned up. We're gonna take a listen. I'm going to deliver this guy. Now all I hear is the engine noise. Uh, which I think is normal. So I'm gonna call that a win. Thanks for uh, hanging out with me on this little adventure. And uh, I hope you liked it. If you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you got any suggestions for me, leave them in the comments below. Thanks a lot, everybody, for watching. I'll see you guys next time. All right. Let's...
Cool, you wanna do it? Do it! Stick it in there! Come on! Be brave! There you go! Oh, that's so cool!